Hi, this is Rich Coles from Productive Project Solutions. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate how you can set up a live dashboard that updates automatically with metrics populated from data external to Smartsheet. In this case, using an integration with Zapier and my Strava feed. So for those who don't know Strava, it's a platform that allows users to track their fitness activities. So as a keen runner, I thought a good way to show a live data feed, given I generate a regular stream of data this way, rather than creating dummy data for a demo. So the live dashboard is on my website, productive.co.uk. So if I hear from the homepage, and if I go to demo, I'm going to go into the live dashboard. And you can see it at any time, and you can see how it continues to update automatically, rather than it just being a static one, which I've created for this. Now, I've also got a series of other dashboards that you can see here. So please have a look at any time if you want to see that piece. Now, my aim isn't to show off my Strava feed or anything like that. It's really just to try and give people um, inspiration for how they can have dashboards and track regular business metrics um, that come in. And so the key features I'm showing in this version, and again, it's, you know, as I say, so much more than just a project management tool, is you know, what I've got on here is you can see it's got various metrics in terms of showing totals year to date, either by run and by, by ride. Um, you can see the percentage in terms of the charts here, in terms of how many items I've done. By the way, to hide an item, you can just click on it and it disappears from the chart. Um, you can see the longest all-time run or ride I've done in this case, or the run distance, you know, distance from last week, bike distance last week, and how much you're doing this week. So if you think of this from sales metrics or any other business KPIs that you might be tracking, you might want to know what's your largest order of all time, for example, what, what are your values that you've generated year to date um, on this bit, and what did you track and uh, achieve last week? And then how are you tracking this week as well? So that's kind of how I've broken it up here. And then further down, you can see I've got this rolling, these rolling metrics. And again, I've got three different charts in here just to show the diversity of different charts that you can have within Smartsheet. And in here, this is set up. So it's rolling for the last eight weeks. And I'll show you my metrics in a moment. But what it does is it looks at the current date and then it rolls backwards and says, well, okay, what are the last eight weeks from there? So again, a great way to see data from that's from a kind of a period of time, but also rolling and conti continues to update regularly on that side. So this is activities by type for the last eight weeks, distance over the last eight weeks, and then here I just chose heart rate over the last eight weeks. And again, just to highlight, by the way, where there are gaps between, this is because there wasn't a data point, in fact, my heart rate monitor broke, um, which I got replaced. And so that's why I haven't got anything showing here. And then I had a week when I wasn't running last week. Um, so that's why there's nothing here, but you can see a dot where I've got um, a point coming up. So that's why sometimes you'll have gaps in your charts um, and that's kind of to go. And then further down, we can see is these are the actual items which are feeding the, this data. So in this case, I've actually got it color coded coming through just um, actually, which is lined up with the, the colors up here. Um, and, and then just as some examples as well, I've just shown you how you can integrate, for example, videos onto your uh, Smartsheet. So this is a um, case study that, um, for the Spartan um, race. And again, I've just got more information down here where you can see in my calendar, for example, um, and you can see there's a form embedded on the sheet here. So just scrolling down again, you can see these are the various activities um, that I've done thus far in uh, the month of February. And we're just coming to the end of the month of February. So that's kind of just a quick look at the dashboard. So trust that shows you how it can be used in many different ways. And again, you can insert images and again, titles and logos, etc. Now, how does it work on this case? So I've got a metrics sheet here. So if we look, and if you think of the longest run, longest ride, so in this case, I'm using a formula here with a max formula. So it's looking at the highest number and then it's using a collect and it's looking at it to say, okay, bring back the longest distance by run activity. And again, the same from the ride and that's looking at the, all the data that is banked up in the, in the data sheet. And then this one here is looking at run 
on year to date. So if I look in terms of the formula I've got here, it's looking and then it's saying what year and basically is looking at the date here and it's saying, well, the year is 2022. So therefore bring back the number of runs that you have done in 2022, rides, weights, hiking, etc. And then that's the same process it's doing for the distance total year to date. Again, it's looking at the date here. In terms of the last week, act um, last eight weeks um, activity, and you can see I've got distance, heart rate, time. Um, so these kind of scroll down in terms of the various differences here. And part, part of this also is looking and translating these numbers into actual times. Um, what I have done in this case is I'm getting the formula to bring back the actual today's date. So it's looking saying today's date, and then it just rolls back and says today's date minus seven, and then that date again minus another seven, minus another seven. So that's how I've entered in eight weeks worth of dates, and that will update automatically every week based off today's date. So that's the great way in terms of keeping it the whole time updated and just a rolling total there. So just going back to the dashboard for a moment again. So that's how you can see this is got this week. What's um, the date at the moment? And so today I'm doing this on the 27th of February, 2022. And so it's got that date and it's therefore looks back and gives me the data for the week of the previous um, of that the dates here, which is you know, seven, seven days prior to and then seven days prior to that one and to that one. And that's what's happening on all those charts here. So again, that's a view on there. All this data is coming from my Strava metrics, um, wrong, my Strava chart. And this goes down for you know, years and years and years of data. So I'll just keep scrolling down. And again, so I can keep going to 2021 and back to kind of when I first started recording stuff on Strava. So that I've said, in terms of the dashboard, what I've mentioned is this is data which is coming from external to the system. So uh, in terms of Strava, just giving you a quick sort of view in terms of Strava, this is an external system. So the information goes in here. I need to get it into my sheet in Smartsheet. So how do I get this to co go into the sheet? Well, I use something called Zapier, 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 and they're called Zaps, so I understand it's called Zapier. So, and within the Zapier website here, um, so zapier.com, what I have done is it's a way, so if there are items which are um, not, where well, there isn't a direct integration currently with Smartsheet, then you can look at Zapier or other um, platforms which are um, similar. In this case, I've used Zapier because it was just incredibly easy to do so. And then you can find ways to integrate into Smartsheet. So, what I did in this case is I just created a Strava to Smartsheet and I looked up and I said here, anytime there's a trigger, which is a new activity appears in my Strava feed, I wanted to add a row to a sheet in Smartsheet. And it was as simple as that in terms of adding um, these items into my piece. What I had to do was look and see what data was actually pulled through when, it, when I did it. So again, it took me to look and see and so there was a bit of manipulation I had to do to get the data to come through exactly as I wanted it, but I moved things around. And again, so there's more data which comes through on this side, but this is kind of the overall data feed. And the end result is something which I'm very happy with because it gives me an opportunity to see my data charted in a different way. Um, and again, you know, for people who want to share this data elsewhere, so whilst people can kind of look at my Strava feed, actually it's a different way to see your your data and again it's just a hopefully a very useful demonstration for people to see a way of charting information which could be business metrics of um, or organization metrics of any kind how you want to do it and again using it either directly within Smartsheet or using an external platform to help bring data from a different system in this case from Strava into my Smartsheet so trust that's been useful uh, I will do some further videos on dashboards just to help people see and give ideas of how you can then create amazing dashboards because one of the greatest things about Smartsheets is the ability to share information via dashboard and really see the key information quickly, easily, and it's live. So thank you for watching. Uh, if you're interested, 
please do subscribe and I will continue posting more videos that I trust are of interest. So thank you very much for watching and I'll be back with another video sometime soon. Thanks. Bye for now.